Jack McKegg here, John McKegg. Uh, you know, my, may know me under either name. Jack John, same same guy. Hey, okay. So this is about uh, the benefits benefits of our courses. If you have this knowledge, these benefits apply to you. Uh, okay, let's find out what they are. You may not know about these. Let's just go over them. Private wealth and family protection. Great. Family and individual vaccination elimination. It, you sign the trust. You're no longer under the God that your your soul got signed to. We, me, 33, the devil. And you got we trust, okay? You signed a new trust with Christ. And so jurisdiction is eliminated. Uh, what does that mean? That means you just simply say no and they can't vaccinate. They're frozen in place by Christ. This happened to me countless times. And so also for children, if they're beneficiaries of the trust, even if you're not present, Christ won't allow them to be vaccinated. Uh, they will be frozen in place too. Why? Because children can be coerced. And so Christ just has to watch over them. So there's that. Fantastic, right? Or any other procedure type things. They can't do anything to you. All right. No taxes, property, or income, or an inheritance taxes. That's just fun, right? Uh, people don't know that that's 100% true. You can look at this SBA guidance. And right here it tells you, under number three, how will churches qualify? Do organizations, it doesn't say churches there, see? Do organizations have to request and receive tax-exempt status or just meet the requirements of 501c3 status to be eligible. See, there are different types of organizations besides just a church, and, and commas and the word and uh, make them uniquely distinct. So sure, you can do a church with this, but you can also do a convention with just as any agreement between two parties, and you have two parties even if you're one of, even if you're the one and the same of two parties, grantor and trustee. Anyway, well, it's a question here, right? And do conventions and churches, do conventions uh, qualify for PPP and EIDL? As long as they meet the requirements of 501c3? Yes. So such, and here's the second sentence, such organizations are not required to apply to the IRS to receive tax exempt status, C26 USC, 508C1A. That's it. It's legal to be tax exempt and not apply. This trust is. Okay. Uh, so that's fantastic. So no property taxes due, no income taxes due, no inheritance taxes due. Fantastic. You don't have to apply or anything. Once you get your trust open, it's just always inheritance and income tax is never due. Property tax can be uh, not due, but you have to apply at the county level for that. Okay. All right. Uh, get any bank loan, both biz, oh wait, let's do the one above that. No bank loans do. Okay, that's personal accounting 101. We can't say debt or credit on our school because we help eliminate debt and we help build credit. Um, other places that, that have the words debt and credit on them, they don't actually help people. Um, so we, we couldn't get our school open with a payment gateway if we said credit or debt on, on the website. So you know from that information right there that anyone that has credit or debt, any kind of counseling, anything on their website, they're not helping anyone. All right. So you find out how to eliminate debt with personal accounting 101 just by following the law. It's not, you don't do anything unusual or anything like that. You follow the law. Does the bank ever sign a contract? No. Okay, so if there's no contract, no agreement between two parties, there's no, there's no contract. N you know, there's no meeting in the minds. If there are no two signatures on a contract, no debt is due. There's no agreement. Okay. And, and that's okay. The banks decide not to sign, and that's a business risk, so no money's due to the banks. For loans okay that's their choice and it can be your choice to eliminate any debt okay next get any bank loan both business and personal all right this is uh, a, a part of this is um, it, we have a, 
uh, business finances 101 and then uh, we our other personal accounting course tells you how to build the credit for a trust for for any other business so why use another type of business because taxes are due it'd be silly to use an LLC or something <coughs> uh, so we tell you how to build the credit once once you eliminate the debt uh, we tell you how to, okay, here's how to build up your credit, yay. But we can't use those words on a website, as I say, because we actually help people, we teach you how to do it. <laughs> Other websites, they, they don't. Other people, they don't help you um, because they're allowed to use those words. So, all right, get free assets like real estate. Let's do that one. Uh, sure. Now... If you were to get a home or uh, say, say you had a mortgage on a piece of property, well, that's not due, as I just explained, plus uh, with our information, even if SWAT, state police, sheriffs, which have all shown up to try and take back property, they're never able to do it because they lost jurisdiction, right? They're, they're under the devil, we meet 33, Christ stops them at any threshold of any door, and so they can't take any property back. No foreclosures and no evictions, stuff like that. Uh, that's why they've closed the world because this actually works 100% all the time with everyone. Everyone that's done it, okay? So yeah, get your real estate for free and pay zero to be there forever. That's completely possible and with our work too. Okay, 24-7 round-the-clock security do include no arrest, no detainment, and no physical contact. Again, because you switch your affiliation, police, uh, whatever, you know, any, any type of law enforcement, whatever they want to call themselves, are 100% powerless. Uh, they've, they're always frozen in place in front of me should they try and move towards me. If they've ever tried to draw a gun, they literally cannot. They try to, they reach down, they, they try and, you know, they, they, they are, they're holding on to their gun and they're trying to pull it up, but there's nothing they can do. Their hand is frozen in place. This has happened to me multiple times and, and it happens to everyone that signs trust. So they can't touch you, no physical contact, no detainment, no chaining. I mean, I've been in court before and they had four armed bailiffs um, and the judge told them, get them and to chain me up and put me in a cage, but frozen in place, nothing they could do. And so all I had to do was be like, hey, your honor, can I leave now? And she, she was like, ah, yes, sir, please do. <laughs> that was the end of that court case. Um, let's see. So, and, and once you sign, you can sleep at night. There's no worries to you or your family or, or anyone, doesn't matter where you are on earth. This is effect, is in effect everywhere. Okay. Uh, next, 100% plague protection without mask use. Okay. There is no plague. It's 100% fake, obviously. Um, so you can't catch what's fake. And also, now, you don't have to wear a mask on the street or wherever you go and stuff like that. If you sign a trust, doesn't matter what police say or anything like that. You don't have to wear it. They can't stop you. There's nothing they can do. So that's that. Uh, it's a little different in stores and whatnot. If uh, they're like, oh, you can't come in unless you wear a mask, you know. Okay, because they got, you know, locks and a door and stuff like that. If you want to go in that business, yeah, maybe you have to wear a mask. Um, you know, what that has to be and so on. You know, you're, you know you don't need a mask for your protection or anything like that. That's total nonsense. But it's reasonable if you want to go in a store. Just think of it as like, okay, I'll wear a veil for Christ, you know, just because they're afraid of you, okay? And so not to cause undue worry and pandemonium wherever you go, because no one else is signed with Christ and they just literally freak out when you walk everywhere because they can't touch you or lie to you or none of that stuff. And so they just freak out. And so you can understand from their standpoint, hey, 
maybe could you take it easy on us and uh, wear a mask for Christ and come into our store? Okay, fine. Maybe if I want something you have. Think of it that way, okay? Uh, never go to jail. Yeah, never. Never go to jail. I mean, obviously, if you if you break the golden rule of Christ, because once you sign the trust, you you're you're under your own you know responsibility. You have to be responsible for your actions. You can't just go do anything you want. You have to follow the golden rule of Christ. Uh, what Mayor Baba said: Don't worry, be happy, and do your best, and God will take care of the rest. No worry, no fear, be happy. And uh, when you interact with people, you're doing your best as, as if they were you, you know. Uh, you, you don't have to be their best friends and, uh, you know, or anything like that. You have to be uh, discerning of who you spend time with. You don't want to spend time with people with the devil, I mean, obviously. Uh, so what do you have to do with them? Not much, you know. So same with never go to jail right like you, you you're not connected in any way to the devil in their system not at all you're not period so they can't detain you can't chain you can't put you in jail unless you were to do something completely evil which case okay you broke your trust with christ you can't do that okay Doing your best is is uh, is fine. You know, making mistakes is fine. They've lied to us from from day one uh, since we've been born about everything going on around us. So it, it's you know easily conceivable you can make mistakes going about life. Okay, that makes sense. But if you're willfully evil, Christ is not going to help you. Period. You see what I'm saying? So. In that case, you should go to jail if you're willfully evil. Okay, so that's how it works, right? Uh, never lose a penny in any bank account. Nothing garnished, nothing taken out, nothing ever from one of these trusts, ever from anyone, ever, period. N nothing comes out of any trust bank account. Why? Why? Why is that always the case? And I mean absolutely steadfast always. Because the elite run trusts and they don't want to mess with their own system. You see, it's that simple. Okay. So this is an onshore tax-free trust. Go get a bank account where you have a bank account. Okay, for this trust. Most banks, if not, well, not every bank opens a trust account. Okay, but most banks do. And most banks op open this type of trust, no problem. Issue credit cards in it, lines of credit, on and on. It's, it's not a problem like that. In fact, they give great credit. So I say bank with someone who gives great credit you know, for, for this type of trust. Wells Fargo and Bank of America don't extend credit to this type of trust, but Chase does, Amex does, Capital One does on and on and on down the list okay so some benefits of the trust that you may not be aware of all right what are you waiting for i mean if you have money at the end of the year and you want to give money to the usa government go ahead and give it that's fine you think they're great or whatever i'm just saying operate one of these trusts and then legally not be forced to pay them some of your money in the form of a tax. It's a legal method. Uh, anyone can do it. Uh, I've been proving this for years. You don't need to learn a whole bunch of stuff or anything like that. Just come to our school, learn the only things you need to learn, and get your bank account open within you know, one day, one business day. And then no more taxes. Yay. Okay. All right. We're here if you need us. All right. Liberty Aid Academy. Have a great day now. Have a great tax-free day like I do every single day of my life.